guys, welcome back to another episode or tutorial for MCrater. Today we're going to be looking at fluids that have status effects. So there is some different types of fluid right here. It uh, will give us basically poison effect when we hop in it. And it will just kind of last for, I can't remember how long, like a minute. So... Um, yeah, so basically what happens is we just basically apply the uh, potion effect when they come in contact with the water and they'll basically get down to, I believe, half a heart with the poison or, yeah, about half a heart, I think. Yeah, so they'll, st they'll stick around half a heart, so that will be pretty painful unless you have a milk bucket. But, uh, yeah, so this will work on any status effect. So you could do he health, um, healing whatever instant damage whatever you really want even custom ones so uh let's go into m crater and i'll basically show you how it works and then we'll kind of take it from there so you will need a liquid of some sort so once you do that you will be able to basically set the steel texture flowing texture what kind of properties you want it and then when you go and get through all the settings that you want for the uh the liquid you want to basically go and select a when mob play or slash player collides with block now what this will do is it will basically every tick that the um entity actually comes in contact with this particular liquid uh it will basically do a event of some sort so you can basically do fireworks whatever you want particles anything that you can basically think of so that's uh this procedure right here this is the one that, that we created with this procedure so we're just going to open that up and simply enough, uh, we just add potion effect, and then we select our, uh, basically, our effect that we want to add, and then we set our level. Uh, the default level for basically the standard one that you most likely will come across is uh, level zero. Level two is actually level one, so keep that in mind when you're using any potion effect blocks. And then we've basically set the duration for how many ticks. And I believe that's about 60 seconds or one minute, pardon me. So, yeah, that's about it. If you wanted to do other things, you can go under entity as long as it supports uh, X, Y, and Z world entity and block state. You'll be able to do pretty much anything with uh, this particular system. So if we wanted to say go and add a potion effect we would just go to the entity management and then if you scroll down to this part right here there's a couple different potion effect ones you can add there's a potion effect with level and then x y and z basically the one that i used or you can basically hide the particles and stuff that the effects have and uh tick ambient i'm not sure what the tick ambient does but the particles i usually disable so you can have these extra options if you wanted to um Tons of other things could be run from here as well. You could basically go ahead and, uh, for example, have override the um, oxygen level. So maybe if you're, it's a certain type of liquid, maybe you want them to breathe under it. So you could basically override this and basically have um, set this to a higher number than zero. And then this will basically allow you to keep the oxygen up above. So. Just some different ideas that you can actually pass around in your mods and stuff. Um, there's tons of other things. You could probably um, clear potion facts, steal damage. Um, if you go with a custom damage one, um, where is it now? It's uh, run function, run specific potion effect, or remove uh, display name. I swear it was under here somewhere. Um, I'm looking for it. It's probably in the most obvious place to, ah, uh, right here, uh, deal custom damage, uh, entity. So localized death, and then you could basically add a custom death message. So if you were to deal damage to the entity, now this will drain their health completely. So keep that in mind. Uh, what we would want to do is create a localization called death dot attack dot and then whatever we put in this box. So in this case, it would be custom. You would want to make sure this is unique from anything else. So we'll just use custom for default uh, to kind of indicate how to do it. But if you go to localization, you could basically go and do death.attack. 
So create new entry death dot attack dot custom and then you could basically fill out what uh, message you want. So died from poison. Uh, I think that's how you spell poisonous fluids. And there you go. You could basically add a custom death message if you wanted to as well. So outside of that, uh, that's all the time that I have for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll make sure to provide the workspace in the description so you guys can basically go ahead and um, play around with it however you want. So outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.